Today we will again act as your biology teacher. In this video we will tell you about the giant anteater. Yes, that one with a long and playful tongue. The animal is familiar to you, but you probably don't know enough about it. For example, did you know that its claws can crush even a beast like a jaguar without any problems? So listen with pleasure and let's get started! And at the end of the video, we will also show you one interesting animal, a weird butterfly, which literally feeds on the suffering of others. It will be very interesting, watch and listen to the end. The anteater sends greetings to all viewers and asks to remind you to subscribe to the channel and express your opinion in the comments. The giant anteater lives in South America or rather in its central part. The local lands are noticeably distinguished by the dominance of creeping creatures, which only plays into the paws of the beast. We think there is no need to explain the gastronomic preferences of our hero. Yes, the anteater eats ants and termites. Moreover, the animal is so filled with love for social insects that tens of thousands of insects per day become its victims. And in a year, the anteater manages to devour up to a million of micro-inhabitants. Few predators can boast of so many enemies. But for the anteater himself, hunting is not a hard work, but a meditative process. Having found an anthill or termite mound in an open field, he licks off insects until he is full. By the way, the anteater's tongue is not just long. Its root goes so deep that it grows together with the sternum. The unfortunate do not have a single opportunity to hide. A 60 cm sticky tongue will get the insects from the most inaccessible places. And powerful paws will break any, even the most powerful, fortifications erected by hard workers. What have these unfortunate insects done to him? Killed his dog? Burned down his house? Alas, the reason for following a mono diet is much more prosaic. The animal simply cannot eat anything else. The animal's skull is a tube ending in a 2 to 3 cm hole, which is its mouth. To understand more clearly, take a pencil and insert it into your mouth. Congratulations, now you look almost like an anteater. It has exactly the same mouth diameter. What can we say? This guy doesn't even have teeth. They simply have nowhere to fit in a narrow muzzle. Instead, the anteater has so pumped the muscles of its gastrointestinal tract that it crushes the insects with the elastic walls of the intestines. We can say that this beast literally chews them with its stomach. But alas, no matter how much the anteater devours the ants, it is difficult to feed a 2-meter carcass weighing 40 kilos with a diet of insects. In order not to go crazy from the constant feeling of hunger, all life-supporting functions of the beast work at a minimum. So our hero became one of the coldest mammals, lowering his body temperature to 32 degrees, and a slow metabolism turned him into a leisurely giant, slowly pacing the forests and plains of the Amazon. By the way, the animal eats not only insects, but also fruits. How is it that local predators have not yet exterminated 40 kilos of clumsy meat? Pay attention to his claws. No nail extension, only 7 to 10 centimeters of natural power. In general, they are designed to destroy anthills and termite mounds. But in case of danger, the anteater does not hesitate to tear the enemy's face. Our hero is so brutal that he can kill a jaguar and even a man with his paws. The last case occurred in 2019. A zoo caretaker died from the clutches of a giant anteater. The animal simply slashed the girl with its claws. These seemingly peaceful creatures become especially ferocious two times a year, in spring and autumn. It is during these seasons that anteaters have a breeding season. The guys mark territories and watch their borders. An aggressive meeting awaits uninvited strangers, but females become especially welcome guests. 
After all, if a lady has visited your property, then you will definitely have a candlelit dinner today. The female bears the fruit of love for six months. Mother putting a newborn on her back is a touching sight. However, from a distance you will not even notice the baby. His wool is identical to the mother's, which is why the baby simply merges with her two-meter carcass. What does this animal teach us? It teaches us that even in the quietest whirlpool, there can be such devils that you don't even think about. It's amazing how Salvador Dali, who lived under the same roof with this creepy creature, survived. He, being the owner of an unusual pet, was apparently not only a great artist, but also a great lucky. On this note, we will finish about the anteater, and since there is still time left, we will tell you about another interesting animal. The Gorgon Macaria. No one is afraid of butterflies. Beautiful, harmless insects peacefully feed on nectar without causing harm to any living creature. But the butterfly of the species Gorgon macaria scares everyone. There is nothing creepy in appearance, but it feeds on the suffering of others. It drinks tears. We immediately feel better when we find out where it comes from. This butterfly is reaping its harvest of sorrow on the other continent, in the dense Amazon jungle in Brazil. It was discovered back in the 18th century, but until recently no one thought about this strange diet. They learned about it from a Brazilian scientist who took pictures of the creature's meal during his midnight excursion into the jungle. As befits any scary animal, the moth flies out to hunt in the gloom of darkness. It is looking for a very unhappy or allergic bird that has crouched down somewhere to snooze. In this position, small birds slow down their metabolism and fall into a daze, which is exactly what our tear drinker needs. As soon as the victim is found, the moth, like a real vampire, lands on the neck and begins to drink the tears of the poor bird, drinking them through the proboscis tube. Wiping tears at night, as it turned out, does not harm the birds in any way, except that there is a chance to bring some kind of eyesore with the proboscis. The birds do not experience either discomfort or pain, otherwise they would quickly realize that something was wrong and quickly repulse the offender. By the way, speaking of juices, why did the nectar not please the butterfly? Let's just say that it really pleased it, because it also drinks it, and this is its main diet. But nutrition with the fruits of bitterness and suffering is for health promotion. In tears, after all, there is not only water, but also salt, albumin and globulin proteins. All these components make tears a real tonic cocktail that gives energy and useful substances. By the way, for butterflies this activity is not so unique. Many species do not mind improving their salt balance due to the tears of animal. They even have a term, lacrophagia, lacrophage butterfly. Sounds as proud as it is creepy, but if you approach it correctly, it may even sound romantic. Butterflies stealing tears. Squeaky bloodsuckers, for example, are many times more unpleasant. Nature can truly grab attention and amaze with its unique beauty. In the end, we suggest looking at a few photos that perfectly convey the inner beauty of nature. Fossilized remains of antediluvian opal wood. Just look at the remains of a petrified tree, which is several thousand years old. For such a long time, the fossilized wood cells turn into a mineral called opal. This amazing process is called fossilization, when one mineral completely replaces another. And the last photo, a tree holding another tree. This is a beach. It is with the beach that such a curiosity can be observed most often. 
Since the trees were very close and the cells were identical to those of the mother, their branches grew together. Despite this, the attached tree continues to live and receives food through the branches which still maintain life in it. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching, take care and see you soon.